Hi, Sharon from Castle Inman. Today we're talking about how to put your beer box together with our Technoset um, box system. So, on the bottom we have the base. As you can see, the base has got a lot of, venti a lot of ventilation in it and uh, that will help you to keep the uh, hive stable in uh, temperature wise. The bees can also push um, things like varroa mite or um, small hive beetle small hive beetle out, out through the holes and then they won't get back on your bees. So here at the front is our unique gate system. So they open and they and they lock. So I'll show you the locking for them a bit later. You have a left and a right side and they just go in when you get the right, when you get when the you, sides right. When you get the sides right, they go in into the right position. So, because the instructions are in Greek. Yeah. Anyway, so you have little tabs here. You can put all four holes in, but two is enough. Two is enough just to hold them in place. Put it over the holes. And as you can see, on the bottom part inside here, we've actually got a blue strip. Sometimes it's a white strip, just depending on the colour of the actual hive, and that shows you where the bottom is. Another feature you can see here as well is we've got where you can put in dividers. Now if you want to have your own queens or make your own new hives, you can make it so there's three partitions or there's two partitions. So you can add that in as well. And with the, the partitions coming down, that means you've got um, using the holes at the front. So it's either this side, this one for the middle, as you can see with the things there, and this one for the other side. Or you put in a partition in the middle and this opens one side and that closes the other one. The next we have is our queen excluder. Now this keeps our queen down the bottom with the brood or the babies and that means you're not looking for any honey to come out of um, this box here. This is simply for your breeding stock. Okay, now what's different between this um, queen excluder and others on the market is has a landing board. So what it means is the bees are smart enough to know where they want to go. They can either come in down the bottom into these open open doors or they can come in up here and make honey. So that actually saves your bee time and efficiency. It can either come in the bottom and go up or it can land here and go into the honey producing area. Otherwise, your bees will be coming from the bottom and having to go through the entire hive to get to where they want for honey production. And so this actually saves time for the bees. This is the locking system, as I was talking about. If you wish to um, move your hive a little bit or go and do the mowing the night before, you lock down your hive and that's it. And then you open it up again after you've finished whatever your activity is. And there you go. It's that easy to open them up and close them. No more rags etc or bees chasing you around in the house yes and there's no m lock now this is uh, another one of our boxes this is a super box as you can see it takes the super size it also takes 10 not 8 so it's so, a jumbo so it's actually a lot bigger um, than the regular ones and we've also got ideals ideals so that is half the size now the difference here when you've got this full of honey or this full of honey this is 20 kilos this is 40 kilos so pricing wise there's not a lot of difference or not a lot of saving in having these pricing wise but it saves your back the other thing is too that the smaller ideal frames don't take as long to fill up with honey so you get your honey quicker okay now we have a little bit top so we'll put this together. We've got no more pieces of string or the M lock. Or the M lock or uh, bits of rubber band or whatever. It stays in place. So if this also, if this um, goes off in a flood, you'll be able to get it back because it'll float. So whereas your wooden frames, they're going to fall apart. Here is the top. As you can see, it's got ventilation on both sides. It's nice and thick. And the food grade plastic that's insulated will look after your bees, it'll look after the temperature, and look after you because there is no more maintenance on these. No maintenance to keep them going. As far as the hive's going, 
it is set and forget. And another feature is, if you're transporting hives, these marks here, these uh, depressions, align with the foot pegs on the bottom on the base. So you're in, so it's easier for stacking and helps hold it in place. If you're uh, transporting the hives and they don't actually have bees in them or frames, these things will go inside They'll each other. They'll nest. They won't fold up. You've still got like this sort of footprint, but you do get a little bit that will nest inside because the freight is there. And of course, we deliver in, yep. in the Hunter Valley area. Oh, actually, for, for larger orders, all the way up to southeast Queensland, all the way down to the south coast, and, and a fair way out west. That's great. And a, a choice of colours, yeah. as you can see. So we've got white, we have got yellow, we have got blue, we've got white and yellow, white and green, as you can see here. And, blue and white. And, and white and blue. So and solid blue. And solid blue as well. And maybe I'm, even solid green. Yeah, there's, there is a lot of colours. If you wanted to order a thousand hives, we can actually get you your, your own colour. For no, Australia. For Australia. No point having black, because uh, that's no good for the heat. And no good having red, because bees can't really see red. And so, the hives are made in Greece, and red is the colour of Turkey. Anywho. So that's the hives. And the other feature is, the gates here are also in a mix of colours and that helps control bee drift because the worker bee can find her way home much easier. And here's the honey. Here's the honey. Here's the real honey. Here's some extra honey. <laughs> and that's how it looks, looks and, and, and comes together. So we hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, belt through an email, make a comment, uh, and we'll do our very best to answer it. Thank you.